Okay, so let me just quickly talk about what should we do in the situation of a gap, okay? Two things. One is how to, how typically how traders look at see gaps and how they trade gaps, okay? You can use this as a trading strategy if you wish, but obviously don't contaminate or don't uh, mix it up with other strategies. If you want to try and trade this, do it separately to... Uh, our 50% rule or our new strategy so that we can keep each strategy separate so that we can have a look at the statistics based on each one individually. However, a gap, uh, we can see here on the Aussie there was a gap up. Okay, we're right down here at the, what is it, 68, 65 level. Okay, and this was the weekend, and typically in, in FX, We'll have gaps over the weekend okay some gaps we won't even see here's one here okay we won't even see the gap uh on some weekends uh because you know nothing really happens but you know in australia there was quite a bit of news that was coming through in the in during may and april one was this one here which was the inflation numbers we we you know inflation was obviously you know pointed toward rate cut and then, you know, we had further move over the weekend and then we had uh, RBA announcement, but nobody still didn't like the RBA, uh, uh, you know, speech. They still don't believe it until, you know, actually something happens. And then we had all of the elections. Everybody's just riding off because of the elections. Why do they think they're riding off the price because of the election? Because there was a big fear of Labor getting in, right? And the housing crash right and also a uh, you know bad policies from the Labor government so I'm sure that everybody who's a trader with me might be more lean toward the Liberal side um, but we could see here that uh, the Liberals did get in and we had a gap back to the upside so positive news for the Australian economy because of Liberals getting in right so we had this move up okay and then we you know, a continued momentum to the downside to create a, a double bottom or very close to being a double bottom. Let's just put a little marker in here. Yeah, perfect, right? So very close to being double bottom. Let me just change the color of that so that, uh, there we go, that's better. And then we had more momentum because our wider time frames, our wider time frames are still continuing to try and push the momentum to the downside. So if we go over to one hour, okay, we need more because all of the sellers in here on the daily are still trying to push it down, okay? So remember that when we've got a strong trend, it takes time for it to get around, okay? It doesn't, it, usually if there's a, uh, a strong trend, you've got to wait for everybody, all the long-term traders to come around on it, okay? And that's why you get rounding bottoms or double or, uh, double or uh, triple bottoms or even head and shoulders, okay? So we've got to be very patient. We've got to wait for these, these very clear reversal signal to come in okay here on the four hour chart let's go to the four hour chart here there we go nice clear indication there so where's our trade basically on this type of move okay let's ask ourselves where is our trade so let's go back to the one hour chart let's go back to our one hour chart and if we count our Elliott waves we've got one okay whoops Get rid of the ray. Love the pink though, it's good. <laughs> Contrast, let's make it nice and thick. One, two, three, all the way down there, okay? Three's the longest. We, have we got Elliott wave conditions singing true to us? What about our Elliott wave conditions? Leg, Two cannot exceed the beginning of leg one. Leg three is never the shortest. Now in other videos I've said it has to be the longest. Typically it is. But the actual, I, I, I take it back, I was incorrect. Leg three cannot be the shortest. Okay, so leg, four, leg five can be longer than leg three. That's true, right? However, in this case, Right, we do have long leg three being the longest, and this is very easy to see. Now we've got leg four, 
and leg an attempt for leg five leg five didn't make it okay we were expecting something to break down in here okay so next let's leave this here i might just delete that and i'll delete that okay so that we can give ourselves some room now if we go down to a one hour time like go zoom in a little bit further here okay we have our gap what's a gap mean a gap is between the open and friday's close there's your gap okay that's the length of the gap okay does that make sense okay now typically when we get an open we'll get a lot of all the traders there's a, the theory goes in a gap oh, hang on, let me just write this down okay gap will always close okay gap will always close okay always sorry I like being specific will always close okay now what does what is the definition of close definition of close is if we get a 50% that's a close to me I've seen it a hundred million times if this will come back to the 50% that's good enough for everybody to say close okay so go short on the open but what happens when we open on the FX market can you tell me our spreads our spreads are really wide because there's little volume okay so you've got to be very careful make sure that you have your ask line in there okay especially with you know uh, currency pairs that are you typically wide already right they can blow out to 12 15 pip right at at the open because there's such little volume coming through so you've got to be very careful about when if you place your order right on the open you're going to you're going to be coming in at your ask or bid line depending on whether you're going short or long so therefore you're going to be right behind the ball from the get-go but when you come down when it when this comes down make sure you get out before your 50 percent line okay on the open if you do that so practice it first before you go and put any real money on it. okay so then it's a good idea to, to use this gap as the leg and then we go long in the direction at the 50 percent now you may not have gotten in here because you know you could see everybody was had their orders right at the 50 percent okay now after that typically we've still got this here okay we've still got that and that will end up closing within a few days okay does that make sense it should always close that cap within a few days sometimes especially in 2010 2011 when we had the aftermath of uh, 2008 when volatility was just out of control we you know could take a month to get rid of that you might want to go back in your charts and have a look right go back in your charts and see whether there's been gaps and see how long they've been closing okay but typically now that the market has you know, slowed down or is less volatile as it was uh, what is it ten years ago nine years ago then we'll get a we'll get a close of that gap okay because we've still got momentum to the downside Yes, and that's why we would have expected the fifth leg of Elliot because we're still waiting for fifth leg of Elliot and cl gap close. So I don't want to go long in this situation. I want to wait for number six, point six of Dow theory. Okay, six. Um, a trend will stay intact. T A C T until a definite reversal signal is of 
is E R P E D. Okay. Okay. All right. My most, if I got spelling wrong, please, uh, you get it. Okay. Is is observed? Is observed? Is I, I probably don't. Okay. It won't. It doesn't have enough space in there. Okay. So look at that. We've got in uh, Elliott Wave. Where are we here? Bloomberg, Lepus Proprietary Trading. If you haven't already, whoops, go over to blog. Dow Theory. Okay. Point six of Dow Theory. Here. Here it is. Mains intact until a definite reversal signal. Okay. So where so let's let's go let's go where now? Where should our, we're in a downtrend? We've got heaps of mo, heaps of gap or delta in our MAs. Going long here is very, very, very dangerous. Okay, we do have. Let's have a look at this. We do have. Let's have a look and see whether we've got. We don't even have. We don't even have a cross of this this trend line here yet okay we don't have break yet so we where's our trade one two here's our trade here there is the trade does that make sense okay patience is a virtue okay wait for your definite reversal signal because it will come that's your trade there okay we've gone and touched We've had an attempt. We've got, got the good news. We've got triple bottom. We've got cross of the trend line. We've got one touch of the, of the uh, 200 period moving average. And there, right there is our trend. There's our trade. Okay? There's our convergence point. <clears throat> okay? So, trading over here, over here for a 50%, in your 50%, right we've already had we've had this move we've had this move right if you've got your limit order still sitting here after this after this move right cancel cancel first touch only cancel right because that there right is st is Sure death. Absolute. Because look at that candle there. You're completely in the wrong direction. Because everything is screaming at you short. Okay? Because we've got a failure of this level. Does this make sense? So if you've still got your limit order in there, you're wrong. After this move. Does that make sense? So patience, one, two, cross, have a go there. And look at it, it just it took off, okay? Okay, let's have a look. This would have even gone to the 1618 because everybody else on the planet saw that. It's one, uh, one point. Six one eight expansion. Maybe not. Did up here. Now th this is what some guys did the other night, right? And I don't know why they didn't see this. We've got this level in here. This is a great level. Okay, one, two, three, break. Even if you're coming in late, right, on this leg, right, that's your leg there, okay? Here is your trade, see? Now, I did have some guys do this whole thing, which, which I'm surprised why they did, why did they do that? Because we need to go back to basics, guys, right? Some guys need to go back to basics. 
because it's very easy to see, right? Look, look. If we just take, just simply, just keep it simple, up. Let's go, there's a down move, right? Down, up. Now, there is a support level, okay? Down, up, okay? Just go back to basics. This is the most basic thing ever, right? And if you trade this alone, you should be going doing well, right? But guys see this as a, as a leg, it's actually two legs, okay? Let's put our fractals back on, okay? Let's put our fractals back on it. Where are you? Bill Williams, there you go. Bill Williams, let's put our fractals. One fractal, two fractal, third fractal. One, two, three, there's your legs. Well, well, you know, having a look at if you, let's take let's take this one leg here. Let's put our Fibonacci on it, right? We had our Fib back in the back all the way back up into here, right? We've got this sitting up higher. Let's make it straight. Bring it down a little bit, okay? You want to get you've got to get through this to get to your fifty percent. It doesn't, right? Now, if we go over to our USDX, okay, chart window, let's put it onto my favorite color screen scheme. Okay, here's the USDX uh, daily. Okay. Um, uh, what is it? Control G. Okay. Okay. We're at the top, aren't we? We're busting tops. There's a double top there. We just moved down, right? Okay. With a fairly bullish, uh, bearish engulfing, which is like a, almost a morning star type of scenario. Okay. And guys are still trying to go long on the USD. They're not seeing that this, uh, the uh, Aussie will go long, the Euro will go long, and the Canadian dollar will go short. So it's, it surprises me, you know, it's all there in plain sight. Absolutely. Look at the top. We're topping on the USDX. We've got a bearish engulfing candle on the USDX. We've got positive news in Australia, right? We're breaking levels all over the place. But I've got a guy who went short on the on the dollar cad. Sorry, I went long on the dollar cad. My mistake. Went long on the dollar cad. So essentially, the all the information's there right okay um looking for looking at the leg itself is 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 there confirmation bias meaning they're seeing what they want to see rather than what's in there in front of them does that make sense right so this leg in here is the one that we need to be taking take the leg not two legs just the leg okay because you get your support resistance from resistance turns into support okay broken this then this we've just broken this level in here are we going to come back down underneath that level are we going to come all the way back underneath this level to keep going long no unlikely right okay all right i'll stop it there